Oh, for heaven's sake, Peter, get a move on. We haven't got all day. Good morning, Miss Adams. Hello, Mr. Duncan. How much do we owe you? Oh, never mind about that now, Miss. I'll charge it. Look, you know what Father said. We've got to be back by half past eleven. Don't fuss, Mary. We've got bags of time. We haven't got bags of time. It's all right for you. You're on holiday. Well, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I kept him talking. <laughs> That's all right. But I know what Peter is. Once he starts nattering, you can never s stop him. Now, come on, Peter. Bye, Mr. Duncan. Goodbye, Peter. Remember me to your father. <laughs> I was wondering if you have a, a relative in Elvingdale, or if you happen to know of anybody with the same name as, as your brother. No, I'm afraid I don't. See, my wife left me a letter, and Peter's name was mentioned in it. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Foster, I can't help you. Well, I've never met your wife. I'm quite sure Peter didn't. And you've never heard of anybody with the same name as your brother? No, I've already told you that. I see. Thank you. This morning, after I left Duncan's, I bumped into a woman called Joyce Dean. Um, I'm afraid. About your wife? No, about me. What did you say her name was? Joyce? Dean. She's, she's a nurse. Funnily enough, I do know her. Well, at least I've met her. I don't know anything about her, though, but she used to work at the local hospital. I think she left here about a year ago. She now works for a man called Swanley. Swanley? Yes, he's a doctor. In London? Yes, in Wimpole Street. Oh, it's not fair. Some people have all the luck. Wish to goodness I worked in London. Well, I don't think you'd like it very much if you did, especially in the summer. Well, you never know. Well, thank you, Miss Antipas. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you. Well, at least you've tried. <laughs>